Okay. Sorry about that, y'all. Let me make sure. Okay. Sorry about that, y'all. Let me make sure my line. Okay, so before that happened, y'all, because I had to block that person on my live. <laughs> I was talking about um, Erica Mena and Safari and how it looked fake. It looks like they are acting, of course, for clout. Um, you know, I feel like these people have like an addiction. And once they get out here, they'll do anything for likes. They'll do anything for views. They'll do anything to, 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 and all they're doing is lying. That's what I believe. And I'm entitled to my own opinion. Okay, thank you guys for coming back in. So I'm entitled to my own opinion that I feel like, you know, these people are making this stuff, stuff up and lying. Like the scene when he showed the tape of her climbing the gate. Dude, that looks so fake. And then in another another clip, after all of this stuff aired out, she's airing him out. Um, she's say, he's saying, oh, I still love her. Da, da, da. So if you still love her and all of that stuff, why are you coming on all over social media showing this and saying that she's hitting you and you on the phone with the police and all of this other nonsense? I'm confused. So that's why I said it looked it fake. Like, y'all just trying to get clout because you got this show that you're on. And she ain't on no show. She trying to get back out here after she went and called Spice a monkey. And then after that, Zeus Network picked her up. And it seems like they got rid of her because she was on there abusing those men. Okay? Maybe that part was real. I'm not saying she's not argumentative. But I just feel like it's fake. You know, and it's fake for clout. You know, I can see... Stuff other people can't see. And to me, like I said, it's, it seems fake and like they're doing it for clout. Thank you for liking the live, guys. Thank you for coming in. It just seems fake, the Safari and Erica Mena situation. I mean, if it's not, then hey, I know ex-wives and ex-husbands, ex-boyfriends and ex-girlfriends, they get into it. They, you know, have disagreements and stuff like that. But it, this just looked a little stage, especially the part. What's the problem? Especially the part when um, she was climbing the ladder, coming into his house. But then you're saying, like I said, that you love her. Oh, I don't know why we're doing this. So why are you bringing it to social media? Why are you bringing your personal life to social media? And then in another second, you're saying, oh, I love her. And why? I don't know why. Because y'all are looking for clout. And I understand you. you have children to take care of. That's totally fine. But why are you guys out here trying to fool people and trick people saying that, oh, you don't want no money that bad? Mm -mm. Some people do, though. They'll sell a cat out. They'll sell the dog. They'll sell the cat. They'll rat it out. They'll do everything they can to get it some money. Coming on social media with those lies and that bullshit. I, don't, I, I didn't believe it. And then, Erica, you had your daughter recording her on social media stating that, the father, Safari, was mishandling his son. I mean, y'all are just going too far. You're going too far. You know, now you got the kids in it involved. Because you want people to believe that what you and him are doing is credible. That what you and him are doing is real. That what you and him are doing is true. I don't believe it. I'm sorry. I, I don't believe it. I do not believe it. And that's just that. Okay. All right, so we're going to move on. I hope that things go appropriately for you and her. I hope you guys, I don't even know what to say at this point with that bullshit. All right, moving on to another fake storyline. Love and hip hop. <laughs> yes, honey, love and hip bop bop. Okay, bopping from show to show. But here we go. Love and hip hop, y'all got these fake storylines as well. Okay, now... <laughs> I saw a clip last week, or was it this week, Tuesday, and it was a mess, okay? The clip was with Amy, it was with Sierra and Amy arguing, and then Bam, and then Zell. I'm just really getting tired of all these people on there really young. Because, I mean, whoever is writing these storylines, they really need to stop. 
They, they got to do better. And even Sierra came out with the truth this week that Amy was asking her, texting her. to. I just can't believe this, y'all. Was texting her, telling her to argue with her. Oh, argue with me because you need a storyline? Whoa. What else are you guys out here doing for storylines? I'm, I'm wondering. I'm just asking. You know, I, I'm just asking. You know, what else are y'all out here doing for storylines? If you're telling another grown woman, okay, to argue with you for a storyline. And she's like, yo, I don't want to do that. You know, I, I, I'm not that type of person. I really don't have no real genuine beef with you. I really don't want to argue with you. And you sit up telling her, no argue with me i mean that is really really bad that is really bad y'all when you have to do that you know and like sierra was saying you know she could get fired for that you know but you know i guess she helping she was helping out her castmate and then she was saying well you know you went too far like you know you told me to argue with you and then you start saying things that sh you shouldn't have been saying so if you asking me to argue with you and I do it, then you should have at least had a little decency. But child, for the love of money, honey. For the love of money. <laughs> okay. And I don't get why, you know, Amy, I was kind of with her when when Bam and um, Sierra jumped on her and was talking shit about her when she was doing the modeling. You know, if you're going to deal with somebody... And you got a problem with them, deal with them one on one. If you got a problem with me, don't try to chime in when another bitch chime in on me. You know what I'm saying? Chime in on me when you by yourself or whatever. You know. So I didn't like that part. Okay, but Amy took care of that. But then Amy came with the clapback song, and then Sierra was dancing to it, not knowing that this girl didn't really fuck with her like that, I guess. But like I said, who knows what's real and who knows what's fake? You know, all of that diss song bullshit could be for clout, okay? Because their show is not number one, obviously, anymore. You can see that from a mile away. So maybe that diss song and all of that shit was for clout. Because, bitch, you can't make a diss song about me and then tell text me on my phone and tell me to um argue with you. Like, really? Like, no, ma'am. No, ma'am, you, you can't do that, okay? But Amy wanted her to argue with her, so she did. Okay, now let's be clear on another thing, okay? Because some of the stuff Amy was saying was that Sierra was ugly. You know, she had all this lip injections. Now, Sierra's never been ugly, okay? Even before the uh, surgeries or even before the little procedures that she's had done, and she's had quite a few. I'm not disputing that, but she wasn't ugly before that. You see what I'm saying? A lot of y'all just be, I don't know what y'all be thinking when y'all be doing this stuff to yourself. But she, Sierra was never ugly. Even before she had surgeries, she was not ugly, okay? So, I don't know. But I did hear that when they were arguing that, you know. She's never been ugly. Though. That's one thing I can vouch to her. Okay, even back in the day, honey, she wasn't ugly, honey. Okay, so be mindful how you use the word ugly against people. That's not very nice. Okay. All right. Um, you know, like I said, and then, okay, her and Sierra are arguing and then her and Bam, I know they don't really, I don't know if they like each other or not, but again, Bam, I guess Amy is dealing with, I, I'm going to be honest with y'all. Cause that's why I said a lot of this stuff is fake. They want to portray that Scrappy and her are dating and dealing with each other to get the lick back on Bam. Because Bam was riding around dating her, dealing, went on a date with her old ex-guy, okay? So they want to have this storyline like, oh, it's an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. Girl, I don't care what eye for an eye, what tooth for a tooth, I'm not fucking your baby dad. Sorry. <laughs> like, no, bitch. Now, I understand that it was 12 years ago or whatever, and fine bam was wrong if y'all was cool castmates or whatever for that but i still wouldn't mess with her baby dad just because she did that to you so you don't have to do what she did to you you know what i'm saying because that was a man from she didn't even know you at that time i'm sure 
you know what I'm saying, when you and him dated or whatever. So, I, I, I don't care, honey. An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. I ain't doing it, baby. Mm-mm. I ain't slobbing on that now. Mm-mm. You can keep that. You will never, mm-mm. You and your baby daddy will not be talking about me. <laughs> Once y'all make up and be having family dinner and family Christmas together, baby. No, ma'am. You have to keep, Scrappy would have to keep that wee-wee. But I guess that's the theme of the show to make it like, I guess it's the storyline because people are losing out over there. Now, I know that in November, uh, Love and Hip Hop Miami will be airing. I might tune in. I don't really watch anybody over there, y'all. I'm going to be 100% honest. I love Black China, even though her mama is crazy. I love Black China. So we'll see if I'm going to watch it because of her. But other than that, over there, I don't really watch. Oh, Amara. I love Amara. Um, she seems to be cool. Um, but anybody else over there, I don't I don't know them. I don't watch them. You know, I guess it's just a Miami thing. Maybe I can get into it and give you guys. But I'm going to tell you now, if they come in with them fake storylines, like Atlanta, then baby, you ain't got to worry about me with next season. Because we getting tired of anyways, okay? We headed right over to Zeus Network. Cause, and now y'all coming out saying that y'all making up stuff? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. We ain't that desperate to watch y'all. That y'all got to be out here making up stuff and lying, making up fake arguments and stuff. Like, no. We want to hear some real argument. Put some different people on the show. You guys, you done fired all the good people. The ones who did give us some some joy, you know. The ones who did have it spicy. I mean, there's been a lot of people that have come through Love & Hip Hop Atlanta. What is going on? And then the people that you got left, they're straggling to hold on without a storyline. Some of y'all better get y'all coins up and go make y'all own damn show. And stop playing. Because if you've been on there for that long, you should have enough money to make your own show. Well, you don't have to keep doing this all this bullshit. It's not hard to get a video camera and put a little fun to make your own stuff. Now, come on now. Okay. All right. So, enough of that. Um, again, it seems staged. It seems fake. Because, like I said, when Amy was arguing with Sierra, then Bam jumped in it. And even the man jumped in it. Zell had something to say while she was going at it with these women. I, I just don't get it. I just, but I guess mentally, if they think that they're women, that that's what they do. But I, I just don't understand why. You know what I mean? All right, so we'll move on. Like I said, good luck with that show because <laughs> I don't know how many seasons. You know, it's been around for a while. But you know, they they got people passing through, I guess. And maybe that is what you're supposed to do: get on there, make your coins pass through and move on to the next level but the people that you guys have left are i don't see i don't know what's going on you can tell it's staged you can tell it's set up they're meeting up at clubs and they're setting stuff up they're making stuff up just to have a storyline oh my marriage is not do it, it's all fake it's all fake it's as fake as they are okay and i said what the fuck i said which one of you bitches gonna check me? Okay. All right. Let's move on, y'all. Because uh, I'm getting tired of that show. All right. Let's move on. Let's move on. All right. Now, <laughs> I was scrolling through the TikTok street the other day. And um, Miss Etta, E-T-T-A, Etta, and Charles was on a phone call. This is what I'll be telling y'all that this stuff be made up, y'all. These people be acting, okay? Supposedly, they were on a call with a Jamaican, which didn't sound Jamaican, okay? They was on a call with this person. Um, Charles said he was apologizing for what he had said or whatever. The person then said, let me tell y'all what happened because I couldn't believe it. But it sounded just made up for clout. Just something that they made up for clout. Um, okay, so he said, um, 
the person, I, I don't know if it was a man or a lady. They said, Charles, Etta, E-T-T-A, said, Charles um, is trying to apologize to you. And the person said, oh, Charles is a racist, okay? That Charles was, you know, against Jamaican people, okay? And um, then she asked Miss Etta, E-T-T-A, <laughs> she said, who does your nails? <laughs> I don't know if this was a man or a lady. The person said to Miss Etta, who does your nails? Okay. And um, Etta, Miss Etta said, the nail shop. The person says they look like shit. You don't need to be going there. Okay. <laughs> Wait, the person said, what did she, the person say, you need to get, oh, the person said, you need to get rid of that shit talking to Miss Etta about the nails, okay? And then um, then the person was being rude and was like, do you put the disease? Y'all, I can't. <laughs> the person said, do you put the disease sauce on your food, okay? The person said, do you put syphilis sauce on your food? And she, Miss Etta was like, what? And then Charles was like, oh, that person trying to be funny. And then Miss Etta said, you probably use that on your food, okay? Then the person said, who be taking the the D, I, C, K? Who be taking that? <laughs> then Miss Etta said, I ain't come on here for all of that. I ain't come on here for all of that. And then um, the person said, Etta, fuck you, okay? The per <laughs> they was going at it, y'all. Let me tell you. Y'all got to go over there and watch it. Then the person said, you, Etta, just like that. And then the person also said, Charles is a special needs person. And I'm like, whoa. But it sounded, because, okay. Because the conversation, you could hear somebody in the background telling the other person what to say. <laughs> These people probably be right in the same house together, like making out a script for the day. Like, oh, we're going to go on live and we're going to do this today. And um, the person said that Charles was special needs. Okay. Um, I don't know. Okay. Like I said, I heard somebody in the background of that person that was cussing them out and carrying on like that. So obviously... Somebody put them up to it. Or put that person up to do that. Okay. And that's real crazy. Okay. <laughs> that was crazy. But I, I just couldn't stop laughing. But that's another example of fake content. Okay. Content that's made up. Content that is. You know. Content that's not real. You know. And it seems like that's what people want. That's what y'all don't mind watching that's what y'all don't mind you know that's what seems to excite you guys and like that's what you want to watch okay all right let's move on but um again i know what i heard in the background and in the background it sounded like someone was telling that lady what to say and the person didn't even sound jamaican i'm gonna keep it a buck with you okay so it sounded real fake it sounded like they planned it to come on and, and do that okay all right let's get over the hump let's keep moving on all right so recently as you guys know charleston white got out of jail okay and he is a crazy lunatic y'all okay first of all why are you out here talking about kids sir okay whether the child is disabled whether the child is not disabled, that's still a child. Those are God's most precious beings, okay? And you are out here talking about an innocent child when you have a disability yourself, okay? So for you to get on social media, I don't care how mad you are at the father, the mother, whoever you're mad at, that man didn't put you in jail, so why are you mad at him? And then you can be mad at him because he didn't put you in jail. 
but why are you such low of a low of a creature that you would be talking about an innocent child when you have a disability yourself i'm confused you know because you want him to get mad and suit up and boot up and meet you in the alley somewhere and, and go ham on you and then go back to jail and everybody in America know that he did it or had something to do it, do with it. You want him to do that because you probably done sat down there in the jail in Texas and done told every stitch, every thing that you could do. You done probably told on 50 million people to get up out of the situation that you were in in Texas. Sir, stop doing that. God is not pleased with you doing that. Talking about innocent children again. You don't do that, okay? You can talk about the father all you want. You can call him slow. You can call him little head, big head. Whatever you want is fine. But when you start going after God's children, you are playing around. You're playing with yourself, okay? You should not do that. You're First of all, you're a grown man. Number two, like I say, you have a disability. So for you to go around and try to shame somebody about their children... It's a lot of us mothers out here and our children are autistic. I know my daughter is autistic. I mean, you wouldn't be able to really tell. But, you know, you there's a lot of women and men out here whose children are autistic. And yeah, we'll go to bat with a scat on your ass for that if you try some shit with it. You know, we ain't out here on social media. We ain't famous out here like that. So watch your fucking mouth and watch what the fuck you're saying, okay? We don't want to hear that bullshit. All right, because it's a lot of people, like I said, children that's aut autistic and stuff like that. And you don't need to be doing that. Okay, that's the uh, hell. The next judge you go in front of, their child might be autistic. Okay, and I hope she remembers this or he, bless you, or he remembers it and, and put it to your monkey motherfucking ass. Okay, so watch your motherfucking mouth when it comes to kids, any kid for that matter. You a grown fucking man. Picking at a child, a disabled child. Like, man, grow up when you're fucking disabled yourself. I'm confused. Make it make sense. But nobody's playing into your bullshit. And I know you need something to do all over social media. You got mad, but nobody put you in jail. You did that by the decisions that you made. So why are you getting mad at someone else talking about their kids is beyond fucking me. That just shows you that you're very, very immature and you belong where you belong and you'll get back there trust me keep fooling around you will and like i said the next judge you go in front of i hope that they have somebody in their family that is disabled that is autistic and and i hope that they throw your ass under the jail because you don't do that you need to watch your fucking mouth sir all right and i said what i said and i'm not taking it the fuck back okay all right y'all I know y'all missed me yesterday, but I like I said, I had stuff to do. I can't just sit on live all day, every other day. You know, I was doing it every day, which I might back, I might start back doing it every day. I ain't gonna lie, okay? But I be having work to do, y'all. You know, I be doing my own little investigations out here. Oh, yeah, I'm the truth. Play with me if you want, because I will drown your ass. And um, remember, I don't speak on shit. Or I don't expose shit unless I have proof, okay? I don't expose shit. Motherfuckers would not be out here getting exposed by me. Number one, if they didn't cross me. Number two, if they didn't fuck with me. And number three, if I didn't have proof. So because I have proof is why I'm able to expose people. And I got a whole motherfucking list for you guys. By Christmas, all the motherfuckers who ever did me dirty. Oh yeah, I got a whole exposure list on you bitches. So get ready. Because everybody going to know who you really motherfucking are. When I give you a chance to redeem yourself, you should take it and do the right thing. But a lot of y'all think that you're above doing the right thing. Well, I'm here to tell you that you're not. Okay? And that's on God. <laughs> All right. So, again, uh, anyone doing that, talking about innocent children, you know, may a cat take out your other eye. You know, you don't do that. You know, that, that's pretty fucked up. You know, and as a father, I'm sure that, you know, little Woody had to kind of bring it on back, bring it on down. Because, you know, you're going too far, sir. You're really going too far. And like I said, there's a lot of people out here. It just seems like 
that era, the 2000s, was a lot of children that were born with autism, developmental disabilities, and stuff like that. You don't do that, and you were sitting in the child's face. You can be mad at her dad all you want, cuss him out, give him the middle finger, call him slow, call him whatever you like, but you cross the line when you talk about an innocent child who can't help themselves, and that's the way that God made her special. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's a lot of them out here. Like I said, my daughter has autism. You can't really tell because I've been working with her. But she does have autism. And, you know, it's it's not easy, um, especially when you don't have the support. It's not easy raising a child that has developmental disabilities. And it's, it's hard, you know. And I know a lot of mothers, single mothers, married mothers, married fathers, single fathers who have children with disabilities, whether it's a speech impediment, whether it's a disability, whether it's autism, whether it's whatever it is, that's nothing for you to sit up and joke about a child. You have to pay for that. You have to pay for that. You have to pay for what you said about that innocent child. And it's not up to man or anybody to do it or women for me to do it or anybody out here to do it. There's somebody who is far greater who was listening to every word that you said. Everything that came out of your mouth about God's precious angel. Everything that you said about her, you will eat your words. You will think about those words day in and day out. Because you had no reason and you had no right to attack a child. That's a grown man. He can defend for himself. That man don't need nobody out here to defend him. I'm not defending him because he's a grown man. I'm sure he could take care of himself. My issue is the child. A child that's disabled who you out here picking at. You don't do that. You don't do that. That child has to go to school. That child has friends. And you sitting up here doing, come on, sir. And you got a disability yourself? Did you forget so easy? <sighs> Gotta take that other eye. You be walking around here like a bat. Be mindful, sir. Be mindful. I always tell people that, you know, be mindful who you put your mouth on. Be mindful who you speak negatively against. Be mindful who you talk about because you never know. You don't know what type of protection they have behind them. You don't know how hard they pray. You don't know any of that. And then you out here doing stuff like that, just evil. That Now, that's what you call evil, okay? That's a prime example of an evil, evil man, okay? So be mindful, sir. But again, I have a whole shit list of motherfuckers that I've been writing down. And this is a three-year three year thing I've been doing. And like I said, I don't slander people. If I say something and I bring truth out, it's because I have receipts. It's because I have text. It's because I have, it's because someone has came and told me and showed me something. I'm not going to get up here and slander you or talk about it. I don't give a fuck who it is. It could be my mama, my daddy. I don't give a fuck who it is. If you showed me no allegiance and no loyalty, I'm coming for you. Point blank, period. See, this is a new season for me, and I'm not taking no shit from nobody. I'm not being nice to no fucking body no more. Because you know what? Being nice didn't get me nowhere. So all the motherfuckers that thought they was playing in my face and did, and I didn't know what was going on behind my behind the, my back. Oh, bitch, I knew. I was just letting you hang yourself. Okay? I was just letting you hang yourself. But wait till I'm done with you. The last bitch that tried this shit. You guys see I had to put that hoe on blast. And I'm going to put a couple of more of them on blast. I don't give a fuck who you are. If you, if you say you my family, then bitch, you should act like it. Point blank, period. Let's go. All right, let's welcome home as well, Big Meech. Congratulations on being home. Child, he did some of his time, and he is home. You know, I don't really know much about Meech. I know he's from Detroit. You know, I know that he has done a lot for his people. Okay, that's all I know. That, you know, he was the kingpin, but he did a lot for his people. And I can respect that, you know. I can respect that. Because you'll always have favor with someone. Because you've done so much for other people. And that's what it's really about. You know what I'm saying? That's 100% what it's really, really about. 
All right, y'all. So, welcome home, Big Meech. We hope that everything goes well for you. Um, and I did see the trial today. You know, I have not really been following the YSL trial. And I think this would be a great trial for me to kind of start following. I know it's really popular here in Atlanta, but, um, you know, I really haven't heard much about it, you know. So I'm going to maybe get into that and see see what I can see. Because from what I saw today, when they in, uh, revoked Antonio's uh, probation, I'm just like, what kind of lawyer is that that you had, sir? Because, see, that's why y'all got to... Let me tell you something. Even if you don't, even if you're not a lawyer, you can still go to the law library. You can still visit the law library. Okay. You can still go online and scroll things. But see, a lot of, a lot of people, they don't know because they just don't know. You know, knowledge is power. And I'm a big reader. I, I've always been a big reader since a child. And that's why people be like, damn. You know so much. Are you a lawyer? Do you know? But I know how to protect myself. I know the USC codes. You know, I know when a, a, a court calls me into court, you know, how I'm supposed to answer. I know things that I shouldn't possibly know. You know, because I listen, I study, and I research a lot of stuff. You know what I'm saying? So they ain't never going to catch me slipping like that. But I'm one of the lucky ones because... I know knowledge, you know, God gives me that knowledge to retain it, keep it and be like, well, you know what? This is what you need to use in this instance. This is what you need to do in this instance. And that's why I'm so gifted to be able to tell you things. You see what I'm saying? To give you foresight on things and to say, hey, mm -mm. don't fall for the trap. Don't fall for the trap because they're trying to catch you up. <laughs> don't fall for the trap, honey. Because sometimes they'll work with them, work with people to set you up. And that's just in any anything that you do. But um, yeah, when before I had my daughter, I would go to the law library, sit down there, and they have people that's in there, they'll talk to you. Um, and I started my paralegal degree, but I don't want to be a paralegal, like I wanna be a lawyer. So, you know, I was looking into it a couple of weeks ago, taking some classes. To go ahead and make this shit really happen. And that's just one of my dreams is to go back to school to be a lawyer because I think I would do pretty well. I mean, hell, I've done pretty well without being a lawyer. Just imagine if I had the credentials to kind of back it up. You know what I mean? And a lot of it, like I said, is just discernment from God, you know, leading me down the path of truth and right. You know what I mean? And a lot of it, like I said, is just discernment from God you know, leading me down the path of truth and righteousness. You know, a lot of stuff that I research and a lot of things that I find out, it only takes a clue. And then after that clue, I can tell you who's lying. I can tell you, you know what I mean? So, but I want to make that a reality. It's expensive though, to go back to law school. <laughs> it's expensive. And I'm not talking about a degree online. I'm talking about really, really getting into law school and doing my big one, you know so that's one of my dreams on my bucket list is I want to go back and get that degree. You know what I mean? I feel like it would be detrimental to helping um, the youth to help. Because a lot of these young men and women, excuse me, they get in trouble. And they only know that I got to go see the judge. And they feel like that judge is God Almighty. Um, because that is the person who's going to determine your life. But... At some point, they do fuck up sometimes. You know what I mean? We're all human. So if you are able to know more laws to protect yourself, then a lot of the situations, a lot of people wouldn't be in the situations that they are in. You understand what I'm saying? But um, when you leave yourself wide open and you don't know, you know, and you're from the streets and you, you know, you can even be from the suburbs. You just don't know. You know, you just don't know the law. And at that point, they're able to do whatever they want to do with you because you don't know. You know, and if you don't have money for a lawyer, you're at the mercy. And when I say M-E-R-C-Y, you are at the mercy of these people. And they can do whatever they want to do with, do with you. 
at that point. Because number one, most people grew up in the hood, in the inner city, okay? Poor, you come from poor, you, you out there, you're trying to make a few dollars, you're trying to survive, you're trying to do what you gotta do. And they know that. They know that 100% that it's a business is, is what I'm trying to say. Um, just like any other business, it's a business, okay? Just like college is a business. You got financial aid, you got people paying to go. What you want, honey? Okay, I'll turn it up. You know, yeah, I will. Um, so, you know, it's a business. Everything is a business. But there are certain laws and statutes that can protect you if you get into these certain situations. But if you spend all your time hanging outside all day, on the block all day, they know where to find you. They coming to get you. If you spend all your time out there all day, you know, it's, it's like some of y'all just be waiting on to pick you up. You know, you got to put more work in. You, you got to put more emphasis in. You know, you guys are just at the mercy of these people. And these people have been doing what they want to do with y'all for fucking decades, for centuries. They've been doing what they want to do with us. Let's keep it a buck. But like I said, if you don't know, it's like being blindfolded. Okay, it's like going somewhere and you blindfolded. You, you can't see. You don't know. You're just standing there and you're just like at the mercy of them. Whatever they tell you to do, you have to do it. But if you gain some insight and knowledge, if you take that time to even read, even Google it, you know, what are my rights when I go to court? What, you know, a lot of stuff that a lot of our black men and women and a lot of our people, I ain't even gonna name, say as race, cause it's not even about race, you know what I'm saying? But a lot of people would come out better. And most lawyers, yeah, they want money. And the ones that are legal aid, the paid lawyers, they're just that. They're getting paid to, to represent you. But you got to remember, it's all a business. They all work together. They all know each other. They all hang out together. They all go out for drinks. Just because he's representing your case does not mean he's not going to go play golf this weekend with the prosecutor. Just because the case is not supposed to be discussed outside of that, you think they're, they can do whatever they want with you. And that's what I'm just trying to tell you. You gotta, you gotta open up your mind. But I know if you're not used to that, it's just like a whole new world. It's a different world. So if you're not used to that, then it's like, huh, what are you talking about? But you have to open up your mind and you have to be able to accept. You have to be able to accept the knowledge. You have to ask God to give you the discernment, ask him to give you the knowledge, okay? All right, y'all. And most of all, stay prayed up, okay? And be content with your life. We all make mistakes. Things happen, okay? But some mistakes are not mistakes, okay? No. All right? So, y'all, I appreciate you guys coming on my live. And I will talk to you guys. I'm going to try to come back on tomorrow, y'all, because y'all know it's Saturday. I swear I'm going to come on during the afternoon. Because I'm getting sick of this shit coming out so late at night, y'all. Okay? And ain't no telling who be on my live spying on me. But, um, I probably will come on early tomorrow. I know I say that all the time. And then I get to working with my store. Trying to get these Halloween costumes. I put my Shopify link in the description, y'all. Go over and get your children some Halloween costumes and adult costumes. Okay? I don't really celebrate Halloween, but I knew I could make a bag. And I'm going to put my Christmas items. So, it's like the seasons be going so fast. Like, I should have already had the Christmas stuff already. I should have already had that in the shop. Because people shop early. Black Friday. I mean, November's right around the corner, y'all. And look how fast October is going. So, I should have already had this done. So, I'm a little behind. But now I have to get the Christmas stuff into the shop. So, if you guys want to support, go over. Again, the channel, the Zelle. My cash app is in the bio. If you guys ever need to talk, you can always DM me and we'll take it from there. Take care. Mm.